Um, and we all realized uh, that day that uh, it is a Europe, uh, it is a world uh, before and a world after the 24th of February. Um, but at NATO, things were actually, we, we were, not, we were well, well prepared because we knew this was coming. Um, we had warned against it for many months, we had precise intelligence. Uh, 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 and we actually shared intelligence, uh, something we normally or usually don't do, uh, about the, the, the plans and the intentions of Russia to invade uh, Ukraine. Uh, so, so that morning, uh, the early morning, we, 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 we convened the North Atlantic Council, we, we, we activated NATO's defense plans, uh, meaning we added more troops to the Eastern Party Alliance and we stepped up our support to Ukraine. So, so, so we had a kind of calm and measured uh, uh, atmosphere here at at the uh, at the headquarters, so meaning that we knew exactly what to do, but we also saw the seriousness and the uh, gravity of, uh, of what was uh, unfolding in uh, in Ukraine. Both Finland and uh, Sweden should be ratified. Uh, both Finland and Sweden. Wars are by nature unpredictable, um, uh, so no one can tell uh, when or how this war ends. What we do know is that President Putin made two big strategic mistakes when he invaded uh, Ukraine. The first was to totally underestimate Ukraine. The bravery, the courage of the Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian uh, uh, armed forces uh, and Ukrainian leadership. Uh, second, he underestimated NATO uh, and our partners uh, uh, because we have demonstrated a unity and resolve to provide support to Ukraine that he didn't expect at all. His plan and what he ex expected was to take Kiev within days and to control uh, Ukraine within weeks, uh, and it totally failed. Um, the UN Charter and, 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 and Ukraine. So if President Putin uh, uh, and Russia uh, uh, stops fighting, then the war will end, we will have peace. If President Zelensky and Ukraine stops fighting, then Ukraine will cease to exist as a sovereign independent nation. So this is not two equal parties, it's an aggressor and a victim of aggression. To ensure that Russia doesn't uh, uh, doesn't uh, invade uh, Ukraine. We don't know when the war will end, uh, but what we do know is that uh, when the war ends, we need to ensure that history doesn't repeat itself. Uh, this is part of a pattern, uh, Georgia 2008, uh, Donbass, Crimea 2014, uh, and then the full-fledged invasion uh, last year. We need to uh, ensure that, uh, that, uh, uh, that um, um, we break uh, the, the, the cycle of Russian uh, aggression. Uh, we need to uh, uh, pr um, prevent uh, Russia from uh, chipping away at European security. And therefore we need to uh, ensure that Ukraine has the military capabilities, the strength to deter further aggression and also find frameworks to ensure that, that uh, uh, Russia doesn't uh, attack again uh, uh, after uh, this war ends. Uh, Turkey has made it clear that they are uh, ready to uh, ratify. Uh, As we, we haven't seen uh, any uh, supplies of uh, lethal aid from China to Russia, uh, but we have seen signs that they are considering uh, and maybe planning for that. And that's the reason why uh, the United States and other allies have been very clear uh, warning against that. Uh, um, and, uh, and China should, of course, not uh, support Russia's illegal war, um, a blatant violation of international uh, law. Uh, China is a member of the UN Security Council, and, and, and uh, Russia's war aggression against uh, Ukraine is a violation of the UN Charter. Uh, the basic principle of that charter is to respect uh, the uh, integrity uh, of uh, all the nations and not to march in and invade another country with hundreds of thousands of, uh, of troops. And of course, China should not be part of that. China new charter and uh, NATO allies are not party to the conflict, but uh, there are uh, um, s some challenges remains when it comes to Sweden. Uh, 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 but uh, President Erdogan and I agreed that we should convene a meeting of um, Turkey, Finland and Sweden here at the NATO headquarters under my auspices uh, uh, mid-March uh, in the near future uh, to address uh, uh, the challenges uh, we face when it comes to, uh, to, to, uh, to uh, 
uh, Turkish ratification of, uh, of uh, the Swedish uh, accession protocol. My message uh, is that both Finland and uh, Sweden should be ratified, but NATO uh, uh, reacting. So, so, um, so we see some progress. Uh, I, so, um, so we see some progress. Uh, I, 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 I welcome uh, that Erdogan, uh, that, that President Erdogan and I agreed on the meeting uh, that will take place here in Brussels in the near future, and then we need to work on uh, the remaining issues to, uh, to preserve peace uh, and to remove any room for miscalculation in Moscow.